Good morning, it's Thursday the 12th of January and I trust you got a decent cup of coffee to start today. Amazing cup of coffee with that awesome, awesome crema on the top of it. Look at that. Um, if you have your Bibles, turn to Luke 12, verse 34. Lukas 12, vers 34. Jesus is writing here or speaking here. And he says this very, very incredible thing. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And that's in the connection, in connection with do not worry, do not fret, do not stress. And he's saying where your heart is or where your treasure is, that's where your heart will be also. I want to flip that a little bit. And I want to say life is not worth living without heart. Um, so, so many people nowadays after COVID, I don't know what it is. They just don't have any passion. They just don't have any heart. They don't have any true feelings about, about anything. And when I'm talking about feelings, I'm not talking about the wishy, ooey, gooey, uh, feely stuff. I'm talking about where, where you believe and you're passionate about something to the extent that uh, people can, when they, when they come close to you, they can feel the heat. You know that you're passionate about something and that your heart is in something in the beginning of the evening when you're tired after a long day's work and suddenly the conversation turns to that which you're passionate about. And you look again and it's half past 11 or half past 12 and you can't believe the time has flown and you're energized and you're uh, awake and you can go another two hours because we're talking about that which you're passionate about. And so often I meet people that are just going through the motions. Um, they pitch up at work and they pitch up at church and they pitch up at places. But yeah, it's a, they could be there. They could be at, at a mortuary. They could be at a soccer game. They could be at a – it doesn't matter where you take them. They have the same kind of just they go with the flow and they just uh, – instead of being – having a zeal and a passion – and, you know, I, whenever I think of this, whenever I think of of uh, being passionate about something and being fired up about something, getting, 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 when something's on fire, it sets other things on fire. And, and um, what attracted Moses in the desert to the burning bush was he saw that this bush was burning, yet it wasn't being consumed up. And, and that's true passion. When, when we expend ourselves on the useless and the mundane and the and the rubbish of life it actually burns us up and it it leaves us exhausted it leaves us uh, empty and with nothing left to give at the end it just burns all of us up but when you're passionate about that which which adds meaning and value to life and it it you you don't get tired you don't get used up you don't get burnt up you're like that burning bush that's on fire and people can see the flame. They can feel the heat of the intensity of your convictions. And yet they don't see you dwindling and getting used up and becoming useless. They actually see you getting more energized the more you talk about that which you're passionate about. So uh, I guess what I'm saying is at the start of this year, come on. Let's put some fire back into our living. Let's put some passion back into what we take on in the day. Uh, let's get excited about something in our life. And if you haven't got anything, then ask the Lord to give it to you so that you can, so that you can get excited and, and, and be consumed by something that's going to add value not only to your life, but to people around you's life as well. And uh, let's fire one another up with that which the Lord has given us to get excited about. Um, I'm excited about coffee. Uh, have a wonderful Wonderful Thursday. May the Lord bless you.